Here we go. Story of Eastern Wonderland. It's it's a wonder we're even playing this game. Yeah, why are we doing this again? Because I have to beat it. We don't have to. But I do. I've beaten every other one of them. Ding, 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 ding. I was about to say, where's the volume? Well, it's coming. It'll be there. So, remember the rules of engagement. Oh, hold on. Let me just... Yeah, well, it's nice that way. Uh, who's Coho on my own? There you go. Alright, I'm on mine. Oh, obviously you're on yours. Alright, well, I'm just making sure. There's no Marissa here. No. No Marissa. Only in the main game stage 4. Hmm. Alright, so I watched, uh, Bam gave me a video to watch, a new video. He also explained the mystery of the 13th tile, so, let me, let me give you that lore real quick, chat. I meant the bottom 13th on the left, my bad, to make up for it, I found a better strategy. Just stay in the bottom right corner, no need to ever move. <laughs> there you go, 13th tile is no more. Um, also, for your first discs, the ones that we have to shoot for power, you should stay somewhere around the middle, not lo bleh. low enough not to ram into them, but to point blank them or else you'll die. Don't move while shooting. If you master shoot button, destroy all discs in front of you, you'll get full power. Sick. I didn't register any of that. The stage will be hell at first, but with memorization it'll be easy because it doesn't require good reactions or luck. So this is one of those stages that is 100% patterns. Everything is consistent, so as long as you do it the same way every time, you'll have consistent results. Understand. Now, sorry. <laughs> Apologies in advance, because this is definitely not going to be clean. I, why did I go into that? It was See? there, and I, I See? ran into it. You were warned, chat. You were warned. Ah, oh me, oh my. Chat, I had a... I had another moment where I was trying to sleep. I was like... Hmm, I had an idea. Maybe I should add this to the script. And then I... I start thinking on that. And every time I do that, I end up telling myself to fuck off. Because I've, I've already I've already revised the script like three or four times now. I don't want to add anything else to it. But every now and again, I'm like, hmm, this'll work. This is good. I can put that in there. That makes sense. It's like a sentence. A sentence that doesn't need to be in there. And like nobody, nobody will even care about. It. Nobody will even give a shit that it's there or not. But I'll think about that, cause for whatever reason, whenever I try to sleep is when I'm at my most creative. That's just how it happens, man. Speaking of that, chat, I also started thinking about this. Did you? Is there anything, anything that when you think about it, you have, you just bottom right corner. You not listen to the easiest part. Look, brain dead. Oh, sick. Brain dead! That's no longer a factor. I mean, I didn't have trouble with that in the first place, so... You have to shoot directly into the center of one, so all of your shots hit. And you gotta mash faster. Well, I mean, you can do that too, but you won't get the power. Eh, I'm okay with the amount of power. I'm done. So I for this one, he hugs the bottom and then, like, taps up, like, once and dodges on the last bit. And he's on the very left side. Cool. Very left happened. side. And when the fourth one... When the fourth one comes down, he goes up like a little bit, or left, or right a little bit, and then he goes down, uh, back to the corner. So you only have to do uh, like one motion of dodging You don't have to move there. for these, but I've already been moving, and now it's... You do have to move for these. Oh, you're right. Shoot the forwards. next guys that, that, that you don't have to Yeah, the next guys you don't move for. So when these stop... Oh. Yeah, that happens. Now stop moving. And just press shoot, and power will fall on you. So chat, here's, here's what I was thinking about. There are things in our minds that we, we have trouble with for some reason. And I, what I mean by that is there's always, there's, there's, there's something in, when you think about it, you're like, I can, you know, be perfectly, it doesn't even have to make sense. It just has to be something, it's just something that in your mind you're never fully confident in and you have to take a moment. I didn't want to go up that far. Raymu, why are you so fast? For me, I can never remember which defense Snorlax is better in. I'm pretty sure it's special defense. It but I will never be able to say that in confidence, no matter what. I will always have to be like, wait a minute, what what defense is it again? Another one? I can't explain it, chat. But for whatever reason, I don't know what happened to me as a child, but whenever I do six times four, I have to think about it for a second. 
I don't know why. I don't know, man. We've all got things like that. Like, I can do my multiplications table, a 12 by 12 multiplications table, pretty, pretty good. But I guess who forgot about that? <laughs> you asked me what six times four is, and I will, yeah, I will take a second to make sure it's 24. <laughs> You need a... So yeah, I forgot to mention at the... That one. So that one... I know, you gotta be over here. Yeah, and then you go up on like... You go up when the sixth one shoots and go back down and it's done. So it's not that difficult, but you kinda have to... It's just a matter of timing. I don't know what the fuck's going on with this fight, though. My plan was to get here with max lives and press bomb and not actually have to do it, so I didn't bother learning it. I mean, that's not even an unreasonable goal. <laughs> so yeah, I guess the idea for the first phase... I don't know how to dodge this, because this... That feels like reaction to me. I don't I don't trust that shit no matter what I do. Anything here, man. It flies so fast, I feel like I'm gonna get hit no matter what. Keep thinking seven times seven is forty-seven. Seven times seven is forty-nine. And you know what? Now that you say it though, seven times six usually stumps me for a second. Seven times six is forty-two, right? Yeah. Forty-nine. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, what what's up with that? I mean I know how numbers work, but it's just like if you look at a if you look at a standard multiplication table, I feel like there's one equation in there that's that will always slip someone up for no good reason. For me, it's six times four. I I just I can't remember it. You present it the other way, it's even worse. <laughs> four times. <laughs> What's four times six, bro? I couldn't do six times four. Why did I stream too far? You suck. Damn, bro. Here we you go again. Me. Six minutes. Six. Seriously, Snorlax, like, I don't really pay much attention to Pokemon that don't have defense stats, but, like, Snorlax is a, is a thick boy, so he's, he's supposed to have defense. Boy. But I can never remember which stat his, he excels in besides HP. And, well, now you just tell me it's, he's like, he's basically Fat Chansey, but Chansey's already pretty big herself, so. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not really sure what to call him anymore. Why did why did they do that in Gen One? Why did they create two normal type special like tanks? Well, Snorlax was why can't they do that right? Snorlax wasn't even really a special tank; it just had amnesia. And do you know what that does? Yeah, it boosts your special by two stages. Yeah, but it, you know but what that turns got, Snorlax yeah. into? Yeah, a special attacker. <laughs> what? We're playing the real deal? <laughs> yeah, I accident I accidentally hit this. No, I had a bad special stat in Gen 1. Oh, really? Yeah, it was only like... It was basically a special attack. He didn't get that special attack, oh. too. Oh, I see. But he still had amnesia. But he had, so. Yeah, but he had amnesia. I get and it. And then Gen 2 gave him curse, and it was like, well, I guess curse you're the Lex. best now. The best Pokemon in the metagame. Yep. I need to find those best Pokemon in the, the Gen 3 metagame. And uh, I can tell which ones they are because they won't be accessible till the end of the game. In Emerald Kaizo. I can already tell. Uh, I know Titar is king. Salamence, Metagirl, all the pseudo-legendaries are pretty much up there. I think the only thing I know about that game is what was told on the download page. Which, uh, yeah, maybe a little bit worried about the game. But the game was like, by the way, you can't you can't grow berries until post-game. Oh, okay, limited items, that's great. That means I'm never going to use Why them. Why can't I do this part? I'm literally never going to use items, like berries. Uh, and starters can be caught at the Elite Four. Neat. I'm pretty sure I know who I'm going to start with, but like... You're gonna start with a good one. Two of them are good, though. Well, one of them is super good. Which one's super good? Swampert. What? I was gonna start with Blaziken. I mean, that's also true, because Blaziken's cool as shit. Well, Blaziken's also a fire-fighting type who has type advantage on literally every wall in the metagame. Yeah. <laughs> and then Infernape happened, and I was like, well... Yeah, Infernape is just better Blaziken. And then Blaziken became better Infernape. <laughs> and now better Infernape is in Borderline. Like, I know, I know both of them are good, but it's, I feel like Blaziken's probably a better one to start with because of his ability to hit on both special and physical on the most annoying defensive types in the game. Also, I wouldn't even be surprised if half the Pokemon in the game are running HP Ice or HP Grass for Swampert. Exactly, right? You can't run a times more effective option to deal with a uh, fucking Blaziken because you can just spit on him and he dies. Pretty much. Sceptile is the best for Emerald Kaizo? They must have changed his moveset. Or just Subseed might be good. Who knows? Well, he can't learn Leech Seed naturally, can he? I don't remember. Because I I tested the game to make sure it worked, and the dev said, uh, dev said that some moves were changed. And he wasn't wrong, because I started the fight with the Zigzagoon, and it hit me with Swift. I was like, oh. 
Bruh! You are mashing, dude. You got baby hands over here. No pew pew right. energy. Alright, tap up. I did it. A little, 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 little bit more. That should be good. And go all the way to the left. Alright, stay there. One, two, three, move. Okay, you gotta move on the thanks, third one. Thanks for the thanks for the tip. You gotta move on the um, dude. Look, I'm trying to count it, but it's fucking hard. That shit's instant, it's hard to see. Bro, you're like, alright, you just gotta move. Oh, I'm already it's like Dylan, I appreciate it, but I'm already dead. You dodged the stars due to my guidance used I by someone else's shit. video. Losing hours of pr uh, progress. Well, I ain't gonna lose it, but I'll, I'll lose something. I need a... I I'm probably gonna start with Blaziken, but like... Now I'm curious as to what Sceptile gets that makes him so good. But at the same time, I I'm not interested in spoilers. I'm, probably, I'm gonna play that game basically blind. And I'm gonna try to anyway. In fact, I'm going to do so in such a way that if anyone gives me advice, I'm just going to tell them the heck off. But maybe not as nicely put as that, if you get catch my drift. Let me tell you something. There's nothing worse than Captain Hindsight in a fucking Kaizo game. Like, oh jeez, you should have did that move. Oh, no shit, Sherlock. I'll remember that next time I get to this fucking position. Oh, what's that? It's Pokemon and I missed anyway? What, what, what's your rebuttal, Mr. Chat? Nothing? You got nothing to say? Amazing! Mr. Mr. Chapman, uh, you see I went for the Stone Edge, but it's Stone Edge. I remember, right. chat, chat, there was... I don't remember how to do this. I know how to, but I, I fucked it up once. When I, I when I played the Platinum Randomizer, I had a Dragonite, right? The Dragonite, I, it evolved, uh, it evolved in Victory Road, and I was like, I'm giving Earthquake to my Dragonite, so I got rid of Wing Attack. And someone in chat was like, but wing attack was stabbed. And it was still weaker than Earthquake. So fucking Dragonite! <laughs> wing attack's base power is like, what? 60. 60? Yeah, so same type attack bonus only uh, increases that by half of its original power. Which means it's 10% less strong than Earthquake. Yeah. So, well, what you, the you fuck? try to be correct, at least be correct. But this is the kind- th these are the kind of people that try to give you advice on how to play Pokemon. The people that tell you to keep Wing Attack on your Dragonite, because it's stab bonus. Or my favorite, the guy who was like, hmm, I'm thinking about a move, and they'll just put one word answers, like, th they'll just- they'll just type in a move. And my favorite is when I didn't use the move they wanted me to, and then my option worked, and they just- I just get- I just get NVM. Like, yeah, that's right, shut the fuck up. <laughs> what is this? That's set phase two. I hate this. Some people want to help, but some people also want me like uh, want to play the game through me. And it's like that's not what we're here for. I'm not your vessel. I will not pick your moves for you. I hate this. One bad misplay is all it takes to lose a, a round, a game, and a. Uh... Emerald Kaizo, I can already tell that much. I mean, yeah, so probably. the last thing I need is people being like, oh, should have should have did that move. Oh, you shouldn't have done that move. It's like, Chat, yeah, those, thanks. <laughs> yeah, for those of you who are there during Christian's Amori stream, there was someone who was trying to backseat, and I told them, like, yo, he like he, he literally had it in the title not to backseat, and so we were like, don't. He was like, I'm not. I'm just telling you about this thing, and I'm like, so you're backseating. That's backseating. Yeah. They think like, backseat game is. I understand is. that you want to help and all, but... Please do not tell me about the game. It tells me about the game. Hold on. Swarmer is the worst, uh, simply because you, you can get Barboach. It does the same thing, but nothing does the same as Blazing and Sceptile. Really? That's interesting. Because I understand from the type perspective, but how, how, how would they be similar roles? Just because they're... Is Witch Cash really as bulky as Swamper? No. Unless they change the stats, Witch Cash does not do the same as Swamper. I gotta wonder about that. Again, I the game is different. Things are changed. Base powers and some stat total to change. Cash has base 78 attack. <laughs> You're on the wrong side. I know. It's okay, I remember where the 13th tile is. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Does he <laughs> now? <laughs> yeah, Wiscash's stats are ass. Like, it's not even funny how bad they are. It's kind of depressing. He has good typing, though. 
Yeah. But yeah, maybe if they change. But it... you gotta remember, it's a good typing, and he's the bad one. Well, remember, in, in Crystal Kaizo, Ditto stats were base stats were changed. Like base stats can be changed That's what on I'm saying. shitty Pokemon. If they did change Wish Cash's base stats, then yeah, by all means. Mm -hmm. But Wish Cash is worse swap, but still does the same kind of Not thing. Not really. In Emerald Kaizo, at least. There you go. There's your disclaimer. All right, fine. Fair enough. Yeah, we can't. I can't really uh, confirm or deny that because I haven't played it myself yet. But. I mean, it, by the end of the game, you can just go catch a Swampert anyway. We'll see. I'll probably still end up starting with, uh... Like, they're probably all decently good if the... Because in, in the other Kaizo games, the dev lets you catch the starters early on. Like, in the first route. But now he put them at the end of the game, so they probably... They probably are pretty good. <clears throat> I have an idea what I want to, like... Two Pokemon, or three Pokemon, actually, I want to use. Are you gonna grab Mega Mawile? How am I gonna grab a Mega and Emerald Kaizo? Hope that he changed the stats. <laughs> no, no way. No, you know what he probably would have done is uh, make it Mega Mawile, but then put it at the end of the game so that you, you need to stay in one spot and near the bottom, and then just shoot dead center. I know. Or you can just fail. Yeah. Yes. Mawile is the same, but Sableye's buff. That's because one of them is an annoying Stallmon, and the other one isn't. That- Believe me, 90% of the buffs in these games are not for the player's benefit. Psywave being set damage was specifically so Chansey could not be walled by ghost types. Submission having no recoil and always hitting was not so I could hit things with Submission. It's so he could give the Mew Submission and cover the T-Tar. And Gengar! Gengar hit me with Submission, dude! That was horse shit! Don't move. Gengar's moveset is uh, Thunderbolt, Ice Punch, uh, something else, and fucking Submission. Ah, uh, Bolt Punch. <laughs> so stupid. We have the knowledge to beat this one, I think. But, uh, it's still hard. I don't really know. I forget about this part of the stage a lot, but I, I still, like, bomb on it because I hate it. Yeah, because it's awful. Yeah, because I, I slip slide around because Rainbow doesn't know how to. The Goo have Boys have a million it. HP. It's terrible. Is it that they have a million HP or do we just never have max power? By the well, time? they didn't just die to a bomb, and now you're. Uh, yep. I hate the stage. You hate the stage all you want. I'm not going anywhere. No, it's not. Submission coverage was. Submission was great on. Uh, Paracross, at least, but again, I, a lot of the a lot of the changes in that game are not for the player's benefit. Ancient Power got a power boost to 100 base power, but you know that was so that was because Celebi could learn it and Celebi would use it to cover its weaknesses against bug types. Fucking, I, I hate the dev. <laughs> you did it all wrong. Yeah, I know. I I was kind of forgot that I only get one bomb per fucking life. Yeah, I don't know what's up with that. But yeah, Emerald Kaizo, chat, Emerald Kaizo will happen when, when Emerald Kaizo happens. I, I, I'm not really looking forward to it. I, I, don't, I don't want to talk about it anymore because I don't want to, again, I'm trying to go into it blind. I have an idea what I want to catch. I'll probably, I'll ask questions when I play the game for sure. Because obviously I don't want to play the game with a bad team. I remember when I tried to use Hitmonlee and, and Blue Kaizo and that fucker just couldn't do anything. He, he just, Oingo Boingo would just die every single time because you send him out against a normal type and he would lose to Body Slam. It's like, oh great, <laughs> high jump kick is worthless. I ended up getting Machamp though, because Machamp is like the only feasible fighting type in the entirety of Gen 1 and even yeah. he's not that great. Emerald Kaiser was supposed to be the hardest one. You're not allowed to use items in battle at all, but neither are the trainers. Held items exist, though. Yeah, backseating during Christian's Amori stream was pretty bad, but apparently he dropped it because he's a wiener, and I... It, it he didn't was... enjoy it, That's so he's not going to play it anymore. It's as simple as that. I love the start of this song. It's great. It's great, and then I play the stage, and I'm like, oh yeah, I remember where I am now. Sounds interesting. No, it doesn't. The de yeah, someone made a someone made a, a Kaizo hack for Red Mystery Dungeon. It's the same guy that made Smash Mods, if you can believe that. Huh. And uh, he didn't finish it. And by he didn't finish it, I mean he gave up. 
He, he completed it up to uh, the main story, but he couldn't beat Uproar Forest, so he quit. So... Right, that was post-game in the original, huh? No, Uproar Forest is uh, after Articuno. Oh. Howling Forest is not even post-game either. It's tied to a mission you can get before the main yeah, story Yeah, I was going to say, like, I, I first, like, it wasn't post-game in DX, and I was like, but here's, wasn't it? Here's the thing, chat. That dev gave up on his own Kaizo project because it was infuriating, and the uh, the dev of Emerald Kaizo nuzlocke to the Elite Four to make sure that it was possible to do. So, that dev is whack, but he, he confirmed that the game is beatable, and beatable under a nuzlocke uh, format. So, that's pretty fucking impressive. <laughs> 15 is harder than this? Oh, for sure, because once you... 15 is a stage for four minutes, and then the boss is ass. This is a stage for three minutes, and if you do it perfectly, you don't even have to fight the boss. It's just- But it's so hard! This game's difficulty is due to its in your inability to control it! <laughs> this game is missing so many mechanics, it hurts. Yep. But yeah, the, the, the Kaizo dev, he makes some fucking painful experiences, that's for sure, but he does- he does make sure they're beatable. They are solid, difficult games. At least as far as the ones I played. Personally, I don't like Blue Kaizo because Blue Kaizo is just reinforces everything about Gen 1 mechanics that I thought are awful. But Crystal Kaizo was pretty, pretty solid. Even if it was a bit silly at times. <clears throat> I'm not gonna Nuzlocke Emerald Kaizo. If there was a focus button, this would be bad begin. You know what? That's okay! This game deserves to be bad begin. Do you see how big Reimu is? I need to know where her fucking hitbox is, or at least be able to move slow or something, dude. Where's the, uh, where's the focus button? Move. Bruh! I'm not even touching down! You, you gotta... You gotta, okay, one, two, three... I, I don't know anymore. The cycle is over. Right corner. You were not in the right corner. Why didn't you, you tell right... me that after Wait. I went to the left? Because I mixed up my rights and lefts. Oh, God fucking damn it. <laughs> you were to the right of the left corner. You were all the way there. No, that's just frame of movement. There's no controller support to these games, so we're using a, a, a program. And the Get program... And the program... I, I, it has, like, snapback issues. It's really weird. Like, sometimes I try to nudge Rainbow and she moves back to her position immediately and gets hit anyway. Oh, chap. <clears throat> By the way, I got my- I got a- some kind of report thingy on, on Twitch that like told me my statistics or whatever, but I didn't actually read any of it. I just looked at the emotes. So top three emotes that are used- uh, used are, uh- I bombed! Number- Long before I got hit. Number- number three, the third most used emote is Punch Cat. The nice. second most used emote is, uh, Cherno Shrug. And the most used emote is the Koishi Blind. That kind of sounds right, honestly. That's impressive to me. I didn't think that one was the most used. I thought for sure it would be the other- yeah, those three. I wouldn't have actually expected Chiron to be out there. Hold on. According to- uh, bam, your hitbox is misaligned when you die because so your hitbox is in a different location whenever you die. So that's what that comment meant? He, s he mentioned that and I was like, what does that even mean? Oh no. Your hitbox gets misaligned when you die, so some strategies won't work like the one above. What the fuck?! This is a great game. Why are we doing this? <laughs> uh, this Who game is- no bombs is This no game one. is all consistent patterns that you can memorize and do every time until your hitbox isn't correct. Then it's a, then it's a game of chance. Uh, you can just stay above him for that, but you also don't get to do damage, and I kind of hate this part because I don't know how to dodge it. I didn't have a bomb, and I also can't- I don't have, uh, Grease Lightning fucking reaction time, so, uh... <laughs> you know, you bombed at the wrong one, you get a bomb at the ring! I know, but I was kind of in a corner. Pew pew! Like, is there a consistency to that? I imagine, like, streaming it will work, but I- too scared to try. I've never seen past this phase, if you know. No, neither have I. 
You know what the worst part ah. about this is? It's not even difficult, but I can't see everything through the flashing lights going around me. Nope. Uh. It's not difficult, but I can't beat it because it sucks. It does suck. I don't understand. Missing. I don't understand how your hitbox moves. That doesn't make any fucking sense to yeah. me. Great. <laughs> what we've learned is that Zun's games have been barked from the beginning. Well, they, he did well enough with this one to continue. So there you go. First game syndrome. To be to be fair, to be fair, every single every single new game when you check out the uh, the known glitches slash bugs tab in the wiki, it's quite big, and it expands with each game. Like. You look at, when you look at 16 and 15, they're, they're known bugs glitches. Shit is just massive. It's huge. Chat, which, which Toho game has the least amount of bugs in it? Uh, I mean, how many can you think of for like, my, my mind immediately went to PCB. I can't think of, actually, no, the fucking, the image on the wiki page is from PCB. Never mind. PCB has a ton of glitches, doesn't it? Oh, I know you can misalign one of the, the prison rivers, and that's the image they use as an example. I was like, never mind. Misalign them. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. I mean, I. You know what? I'm, this is probably the last one I've got in me. I can look it up and count the amount. Highly responsive to prayers. Uh, uh, I don't know. I don't. Is that game buggy? It's definitely a weird game. Oh, yeah. That was true. First game syndrome. Well, was the question the most buggy or least buggy? I thought it was least buggy. Yeah, it was least buggy. That's what. It, it's like, it's just how I always to the prayers. It's like, I don't know about that one. I don't know if it's buggy, mind you, but it is pretty simple. PCB has Marlin. Ah, uh, yes. The Prism River is sisters, but they're fish. All the way to the right. That's all you gotta do. I sure hope my hitbox isn't misaligned. <laughs> you imagine? I sure hope it's aligned properly. Otherwise, I might... You're too far up. I don't know, I want to shoot it. I want to shoot it fast. You need to back up and you need to be in a position where you like can hit one orb with two shots. Well, about this way. part. So yeah, you push up a little bit. Or I can do this. But yeah, that works too. But you need to be in the bottom left corner for that part. And now you're in trouble. I hate this stage. Yay! She's good game! Good game. Alright, your turn. Now I turn to play good game. Alright, here we go. <sighs> Okay, time to move your pingos. You can move your body briefly. The dev whenever the demo play boots up, it takes forever for the game to come back. Indeed it does. All right, here we go, defensive type. Can your hitbox go off screen, making you invincible? Uh, you mean invincible? Yeah. I have uh, no freaking idea, man. Could you imagine, though? <laughs> uh. I would do that. I would just put myself off screen. And I'd yeah, fire homing yeah. bullets. We'd be done with this. A victory is a victory. Oh, is it, victory is a victory, no matter how it's earned. The end justifies the means in this one. I also don't like this game because the most prominent method of doing the damage is by pressing the button, and I yeah. hate doing that in three and nine. Yep. Like, oh, I hold the shoot button for 90% of the, like, 99% of the game. And this game, if you hold it, you charge and don't shoot anymore. It's like, ha, 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 ha. Funny joke, I son. Say, I also love how the Toho Wiki opens up the, uh, the glitch page with, like, an actual definition of what a glitch is. Yeah, because speedrunners have to define that every single time they do anything in a video game anymore. Pretty this much. is my non-glitch, uh, speedrun. Now let me explain why when I use this bomb to clip outside of, uh, into an invisible wall and skip a boss is not a glitch. Yep. <laughs> That's just so funny to me. It's like, damn, bro, just play any percent then. Oh, I forgot. Whoa, I almost died. Well, I guess What's next? Uh, 13 tile, right. Yeah. 13th tile, that's just what this part is. Next is the stars? I no. almost got hit. No, that, believe me, you almost, almost got hit. What's next? Alright, these guys. Yeah, I want to get up close because I want to hit him with all my, my might. 
Alright, well, I didn't get max power, but I came close. Yeah. Cock! Two, Carl. three. I. The stars weren't gone. No, they were not. I just died three times. That's pretty good. Yeah, this is the uh, the image that they used to introduce the glitches. What are you doing down there, Marilla? <laughs> yeah, what's she doing down there? That's not a triangle anymore. <laughs> That's an irregular shape. All right, here we go. Hey, chat, want to hear a joke? Sure. All right, here we go. How does how does Sanai get a, get a lot get around the lake at the the Moria Shrine? Does she sue up go around it? That was good, but not the answer. <laughs> The answer was she uses a kayako. I was gonna, I was gonna say, does she Kanako through it? <laughs> she yeah. Just, she can't I feel like Jifto. There are no cars in Gensokyo, and even if there were, I don't know, if, I don't know if Gensokyo has any uh, gasoline. So once that tank is empty, I think you're just done. I don't know if you saw it, but Sora's posted a sketch sheet, and he had a fucking. He had Sanai as a tree. I was just like, <laughs> right. I was just like, what? Kotria. Kotria. Yeah. yeah. Wood from the Kotria makes the kayak go. <laughs> oh All right, I died again. Oh, what? Was the was fuck? Misaligned. I hate this stage. Why are we doing this? <laughs> Cause I can do it. Some bullshit. <laughs> I didn't do anything wrong. That was correct! That was the correct option! But I still died because this game is fucking great! Uh, I'm upset about that. I think I have every right to be upset about that. And you do. Just. Oh, ghosty! Goo! What comes after the ghost? I don't remember anymore. Dodge, oh, dodge, dodge. Does he have an actual list, or is it just this page of defining things? It's at the bottom. It's just a bunch of, like, trivia tab-esque stuff. There's a bunch of shit in there that's just like, what is going on? I prefer the ones with video evidence to, yeah. to like, show them. I decided, I, I, just after I... Ah! Yeah, you're, you're going in the wrong corner for that, by the way. He was in this in the video. Besides, it also puts me here to misalign my hitbox and die again. Yeah. Like that. <laughs> so, if you die at any point before that, you can't do that strategy. No. Mm -hmm. So, keep that in mind, I suppose. This is... This is fucking great. <laughs> this is great! Yeah. I learned something I, I didn't want to know, really. I think I was better off without this information. There's nothing I can do about it, though. <laughs> I get hit, that's it! I'm now misaligned. Precision movement. In a game where your hitboxes are fucking shuffle deck cards. <clears throat> I can't remember what, how the order of this shit even works anymore, honestly. I get past the first ghost part and I'm like, what's after this again? All right, here we go. I forgot again. All right, All right now. Your hitbox should not be misaligned. I don't even risk moving here. I stand still. There you go. That's so stupid. What's next? Orbs. What the fuck? Oh, man. oh, here we go. I, I died there. So you know what that means? You need your hip -hop to uh, uh, one, two, three, four. Dylan, it's on three. I had to you move down. You killed me last time with that. I had to move down, not not to the. Uh, I can't remember which way you're supposed to move. 
<laughs> I'm pretty sure it's down. I had the vid- Give me my fucking phone, I had the video. The fucking video. Stupid ass stage. Was it down or to the right? I don't remember. Oh, get on with the show. Yes, yes. Kill- Do the stars. Stand there. One, two... Yeah, on three, move to the right. On four, move to the left. Alright. I'm just- I'm just not doing it properly because, well, video game is... It's designed for babies, really. This game is designed for small children ages three and up. Choking hazards. Fucking picture of Squidward. <laughs> Blah. Melee players when they miss a wave dash. <laughs> Tournament winner. <laughs> oh! I um. Video game not easy. That's true. Sorry, I, I accidentally uh, I, I panicked and I hit the bomb button even though I was in no danger of actually getting hit. Hmm. Chad, am I an idiot? Cause I can't find the list. The list of what? The the glitches. At the bottom of the gameplay page. The gameplay page? What do you mean? I'm on the glitches page. Cause you know, that's where I figured they'd be. Do you not understand how that wiki works? Have you no. never gone there to learn before? Yeah, when I went to see why Alice was in Toho 8. Oh. You know, Marissa's partner. Ah, oh, right, yeah. It's cause, yeah. cause yeah, some put her in guess 7. What's, guess what's not on the wiki? What? That. Well, of course not. It's... It's information straight from the Zun himself. That was Zun in disguise. Because everyone knows Zun has nothing better than the shit post on English YouTube comments. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, here we go. Woo! Alright, here we go. I don't usually name stage sections, but this has become Legend of the 13th Tile as far as I'm concerned. Alright, here we go. Story of Eastern Wonderland. Gameplay. I figured, I thought the glitches would all just be on one collective page and not listed under the game. You gotta be shitting me! Oh, do you, uh, do you want to see what your hitbox looks like? A little bit, but give me a second. Alright. Alright, watch this. One, two, three, four. Ooh, sick dodging! Yes! Unbelievable! How does he do it? I almost got hit. <laughs> Alright, start mashing, boy. Man, if only the, the point clear line was here. This is better. <laughs> See? You got so many lives from doing that. Yeah, you just be spend your bomb there. There you go. Alright, well, uh, there's your hitbox. It's literally just like Rainbow Bow. Yeah, and it, and it goes wherever uh, goes wherever it wants when you die, huh? The Howard. All right, what comes after these guys again? Oh, the Goo Boys, right? Oh my, where's where's the bug section? On stage one, if the player doesn't destroy the shrine tank unless the tank rides to the end of the bridge, then an extra layer of wood on the bridge with track mark will be placed on the path. This is likely a script error as to when the tank should be destroyed by default. That's the only one that's listed. It can't be defined whether it's a glitch or not, but if you want to repeatedly tap the shot key at a high speed, similar to when you fan has been right. Oh my god, I should have just pressed bomb. Damn it. Chad, that was the only glitch they had listed. I got another one up. Just the tank glitch, and also the something that can't even be called a glitch. I can't- I got to this part, I don't remember how to do it, and before I sit here and lose a life for no good reason, I'm gonna figure out how to fucking do it Chad, right now. I'm gonna look up PC- PCB glitches. Perfect cherry blossom. Goo boys suck. I hate them. I hate them too. Are you not there yet, or is that where you are? Oh, I'm, at, I'm after them. I'm at the part with the bullets. Let's see, so hug the bottom left corner of the screen. When- when wave six goes off, Go up and then down. Okay. Oh shit! <laughs> Got him with these guys. You have like no power. What the hell? Yeah, I died immediately. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wow. How does he do it? All right, Chad. I figured this. I gained the shit out of this. I got it for real this time. Hmm. All right. The 
first one is about the Merlin glitch, where she sometimes just doesn't align with the sisters and creates a, quote, rather asymmetrical bullet pattern. That good? Also, after the Prism River's final health bar is depleted and the fight officially ends, Merlin continues to attack during the end conversation in the clear bonus tally. It is completely possible to graze and get hit during this period. <laughs> well, oh my fucking god, I hate this boss. Suck snap. my dick, you big snap. eyeball bitch! I heard that snap back. Just give me the next phase so I can get on with my fucking life! Oh my god, I hate this piece of shit. Why are we here? Just to suffer? I don't know the rest of the quote. Most people get cut off at that point. Just gotta get to the end with full bombs and press the bomb button. All That's right. all I gotta do. Uh, a similar glitch exists with Ron and Yukari. If you finish Ron's Ultimate Buddhist or Yukari's Butterfly in the Zen Temple spell cards at the precise moment where they switch between the red and blue manji in either direction, the fading manji will remain on screen. It will then power up a few moments later as usual and then disappear completely once the power is down. Again, well, again. While powered up, the lasers are lethal and you can graze them. Interesting, the manji does not rotate, which allows you to just sit next to it and run up the graze counter. And if you have border active, you're cherry man. <laughs> Here's a video of this performed in Yukari's version. <clears throat> Sounds dumb. I'm in. After defeating a last or extra boss, cinematic slowdown is supposed to activate for a few seconds. In PCB and potentially other games, sometimes the slowdown fails to deactivate. The exact conditions for this are still unknown. The game continues to play in this state until you save the replay and return to the main menu. This may occur in other games as well. We mean oh, may occur. I, it means that we don't know if this is PCB exclusive. Oh, that's great. The same pause menu glitch from EOSD persists in PCB, where pausing the game exactly when the statistic green is about to show up causes both the pause menu and the statistic green to both show up at once, giving simultaneous control of both memories. However, PCB is less tolerant to it, and the game will often freeze in this state. Here is a video of the glitch. And the last one. If a supernatural border is initiated during a death, both the death and the border will be cancelled, distorting the player's character sprite in the process, as well as collecting the power items that spawn as a result of dying. Taho is a beautiful man. Uh, I didn't kill any of them, but I'm not dead, so I don't care. You know what, Chad? That, that's a fair point. Does the existence... Yeah, I hate this part. The stars I are... hate this fucking game! Alright. Here we Does go. Does the existence of Evil Eye Sigma imply the existence of other Evil Eyes? Well, no, because it's a tank. Only one was built. Only one? Yeah. Rika built it, and then Rika's tank blew up, and then boo-hoo. And then she was never seen again. Unfortunate, really. Is it? Yeah, I like Rika. She builds tanks and shit. But we got Natori now. Who cares? We had I Rika. Care. Rika was cool. She was a human engineer who made tanks and evil eyes oh, sigma. Oh, boo-hoo. I could do that with a couple years of engineering degrees. Could ya? Yeah, probably. I highly doubt it. How is Evil Eye Sigma a tank? Did you because she built it, so it has to be. She built it. She said it's a tank. You ask the, the worst questions. Never seen a fly- Yeah, you've never seen a, a flying eye-shaped tank before? I like how you, you know, you'll question this, but then you'll watch the, the original Yu-Gi-Oh! and Kaiba's Blue Eyes White Dragon Jet, and you'll be like, yeah, this is fine. I'm flying on the back of a talking turtle, and the eyeball tank is what's weird here. Yeah. That maybe not the floor trying to kill you, or the wall? Is this the floor or the wall? I don't know where you are right now. The answer is floor. Okay, cool. Imagine so, we're just scaling a wall, going straight up. I mean, that's kind of what it feels like sometimes, when there's no indication that it's the floor. Although, better question. Uh, why does Rika's lair look like it was made of, uh, mega blocks? Uh, 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 uh. Alright, that's a lot of symbols, and I only know what, like, two of them mean. <laughs> Bro, just bomb through that part. No, I, you, you don't lose anything. Why from. is God dead? <laughs> God is dead. I glitched out your chat. Toho glitches anything. Alright. Chat, what game, what game glitches do you want next? I've, I've got nothing new to add. I hate this stage, too. I don't even like this game much. I like Toho, just not Toho, too. Stage two. This is stage two. Evil Eye Kappa. It's actually a stage two, you know. 
That was supposed to be stage two, you follow Rika! Imperishable, you got it. Perishable. Imperishable. Imperishable nugget. I almost clicked in materials and power. You know what? I didn't dodge, even think about dodge. the spin-offs having glitches. Scroll down to the bottom. Hmm. Oh, yo, 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 wait. Wait, he went off screen and he left. <laughs> Bug. The running time displayed on the other status list in the game's results tends to be greatly exaggerated. Every time the game is open in Windows mode, it asks the system's uptime to the game's running time. Hmm. There's a hilarious amount of sp uh, spell cards that have incorrect bonuses to them. Alright. The Malice Cannon glitch. This is the one I uh, talked about before. When using the magic team, pressing the shift button on and off every half second or so creates an interesting effect. Both Mercer and Ellen's shots will stay on screen at the same time, resulting in the Malice Cannon, which inflicts the most amount of damage in the opposition in all of the audience. Other teams can use this, but it is most pronounced the magic team. It is similar to Mercer, these bugs are not the same in nature. Okay, one, two, three, four! Wow. How, How does he do, he do it? Good old Malice Cannon. It's ah, got a go. bitchin' name. That's two. That's three. Pretty good. Yeah. Pretty good. <clears throat> Alright, uh, during the extra stage when Kane enters, her hitbox is active. This means during the conversation, you can collide with her and lose a life. This also happens when you collide with Mercer and Raymond in stage 4 during a conversation. This can be compared to the way Merlin could sometimes kill you in PC. Um, last time... Last time I got here, it wasn't good. It's not usually. This is like the cat. This just reminds me of USD Stage 5, but without anything, without any of the mechanics that made it do it. Yeah, go boys, get- yeah! Yo, you got the life! You got the life back! What's next? Uh, free power. Yeah, free power. Alright. Uh, in the options menu, if you set the amount of initial- Oh shit, it wasn't! Oh, right. That's unfortunate. I honestly forgot about this part, too. I think now, free power. In the options menu, if you set the amount of initial lives to 6 or 7, and then delete your save file, you will still be able to start the game with 6 or 7 lives. This will be the hidden default selection. Set setting the amount of initial lives to another number will lock the choice again until that number can reach 35 times again. Oh, so that's how you unlock that. You get bad endings. Cool. Glad to know the game's just taking pity on me. There's a, there's a bug in 11 where apparently if you unlock the extra stage in, like, easy mode, and you play a higher difficulty and you get a bad ending, it locks the extra stage again. Huh. I think that's what it was. I might have to look that one up next. I can't remember the specifics, but someone mentioned that before. And then it turns out that's a little more idea how it works. When using double FPS setting, which is exactly which exactly uses frames get one half on config.exe, if the game records the FPS on replay greater than 99.9, .9, the third digit FPS will be shown over time until the next moment. And the pause menu glitch is still there. Alright, I'm gonna look up subterranean glitches now. Where's the- it's just a hidden option. Hmm. Since I guess when you- if you delete the game and then reinstall it, or re-download it, uh... Oops, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because I guess it doesn't reset it on its own, but the, the choice is still locked, so it's like... Best game. How are we still not on the next phase? Are now. Eat my dick, I you piece of what, shit. I don't even know what phase three is. When I saw this game had this stage had five phases, I was like, oh, that won't be too bad. I can't, I can't fight this fucking thing. It's it's trash. Bad. Phase three. Oh. Good gum. And laser. Cool.
power. You piece of shit, garbage, Idiot. trash boss, awful video game. Try yes. again. If you're playing EOSD on easy and time out Rumi's mid boss non spell, she'll use Nightbird on you, which she normally only uses on harder lunatic. What? Me. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna scroll down to subterranean glitches. Bugs. In the demo version 0.01, it was possible to take your character out of the screen by going diagonally down on either corner of the screen. You could keep your character's hitbox below the bottom edge of the screen, but your options above, letting you attack while grazing most bullets directly at you with no chance of being hit. Oh, can I do that in this game? Maybe if you miss on your hurtbox, right? Yes, I'll quit. Give me that. Give me that Rika information, because apparently I can't. I can't just ball my way through this, and my arm's getting tired of trying. For the full version, you can attack Sanai during her entrance in the extra game by using bombs at the right time. Simply go to the spot where she'll appear, use a bomb example, Randy C or Marissa B. About a second before she appears, and watch her go poof, skipping a battle. Well, that's not fair. He has homing during this, so he can he can hit him he can hit him with full power. Yeah, to do that. How do you dodge this rainbow shit? Do you that. press bomb. Of you course. press the bomb button. <laughs> that's damn, he went inside of the damn thing to hit him. That's probably the the issue we're facing right now is that we never have full power at this point. Well, of course we don't. We never have full power at any point. It's true, actually. I don't think we've had full power for even a second. Alright, how do you dodge this? Yeah, right. Shimmy. <laughs> shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. He died! He died! I just, I hate that one. You just press bomb and run in and press the button inside of really. So you get 1.5 seconds of invincibility when you bomb. So this is a... Uh, You just go in and out of them, I guess. Which... God, you know what this is? This is just Mokos, but different. Yeah, but it's harder to move, harder to see your hitbox, and harder to survive. Yep. Oh my god. Gumballs everywhere. So that's what that one looks like if you don't bomb it. Neat. Hmm. Well, that's cool. Anyway, there's a minute left of the video. So, two things left. The same can be done with Orin in, in Stage 6 as well as Yugi, the Stage 3 mm -hmm. boss, as the spell card that she uses simply before sniping you invincible ends. The replay desynchronization bug from Mountain of Fate still exists. It occurs in full game replays on Utsuo's first non-spell when the replay is started from Stage 6. Starting playback from an earlier stage can prevent this, provided no fast forwarding is done between Stage 5 being clear and Stage 6 starting. If you com yeah, if you complete the game on easy after unlocking the extra stage, a bug will relock the extra mode until you complete the game on normal or higher again. <laughs> <laughs> when using Marissa C with Notori, it is possible to reverse bomb at the exact moment that will allow you to not only live, but keep your Kappa shield. You know what, I could argue that the uh, the SA bug lock is intentional, because if you're beating easy mode in that game and trying the extra stage, you do not, you do not, you you should not be there. No. <laughs> that, that's definitely going, that is super weenie hot junior into the salty platoon. SA easy mode isn't even that easy either. Not really. Game's pretty fucking difficult. It is. It's amazing how nothing at this stage matters until I get to the point where I can farm one ups. Okay, here we go. Spell cards 33 and 34 have a time limit of 43 seconds, but their spell card bonus is drained as if the time limit were only 35 seconds. As a result, the bonus will reach zero at 4.46 seconds left in the clock and start ticking into the negative numbers. If the bonus is awarded after the occurs, the negative value is subtracted from the player's score. That's pretty funny. That might be the only way you can lose score outside of dying. I know. You don't even have to Dude. say a word. I don't even have to look at you. I can hear your breathing. Dude, that's so not fair. Th <laughs> Come on, man. Uh, you know what the problem was? Your hurtbox was misaligned. <laughs> this is ridiculous. 
take at least 100 seconds of actual time on a spell, the game will display your actual time as 999.99 seconds. This does not occur with clear time. And then right, it laughs wanna, at you. Yeah. I also want... Now I want to look at Mountain of Faith. Chai, you want to talk about stupid spell cards? Yoshika spell cards. I hate them. They're really dumb. Like, oh, you gotta hit me or, or, or you grab the spirits. If you don't grab them, I heal and you can never capture my spell card. Like, yeah. hee hee, fuck off with that. That's a dumbass spell card. All of them that do that for her are, are obnoxious as all hell. It's like, oh, I create spirits and they heal me. Funny haha. -ha. <clears throat> Alright, yep, the first one they list. Keeping Marissa B's power level between 3 and 3.95. Yep. Terribly strong, unfocused shots, beating bosses in literally a matter of seconds after they appear. Yep. <laughs> I did a run through with it for shits and giggles. Of course, the nice bullets never reaching. They just don't. Dude, you could you could legitimately speedrun Mountain of Faith with that shot yeah, type. It's great. It also means I don't feel bad about bombing because I want to have less power. That's the best part, is the way the bomb system works in that game complements it perfectly. I don't know why you decided that having five point power was I don't know, you decided against it in eleven. Because there was no difference for it. it just... I hate this game. I hate it too. Yoshika embodies what I hate about Ten Desires. You know what? I feel that. I really do. I don't like this. You know what? I, I realized by, by when I played that game is the way the spirits work is incredibly obnoxious because they they stay up on the top of the screen on where you killed the enemy, right? Yeah. But how are you supposed to grab them when every single time you run up to grab them, more enemies spawn in their place? At least DDC's gimmick was kind of designed around that. But that one requires you to go at certain points at the top of the stream, but not a exact point. All you had to do was cross the line in 14. But, like, let's say let's say I want to get spirits that are directly in, above me. I can't do that because, well, surprise, fuckface, now ghosts have spawned there. And if I run into them, then I just lose a life. And you know what happens when I lose a life? I lose my entire trance gauge that I was just trying to build up by yeah. running up there and grabbing. Like, Ten Desires isn't really a bad game, but there's so many decisions in it that confuse the shit out of me. Indeed. Hmm. The replay viewer sometimes desynchronizes when starting a replay on stage 4, causing strange behavior in a failed stage. This seems to only occur in full runs and can be prevented by starting the replay from stage 3 or earlier. Watching a replay of a full run will unlock the stages in stage practice with that character as if you played them yourself. <laughs> That's so there you one. go, if you, want, uh, if you want spell practice, Download a replay. No, I like that. Doesn't matter, because this part right here eats your power anyway. Just vomit. If I vomit, I won't have a bomb for goo boys. Bro. I hate technology. Would you rather deal with that than the goo boys? Misaligned hitboxes, misaligned hitboxes, misaligned hitboxes. That's true. John Madden. A-E-I-O-U. Okay, I'm alive. This is what I want a bomb for. Because now I just do this and I get... Infinite point. See? Yeah. I got my one up back. There you go. If a replay starts with a score of over 1 billion, billion stitches is not displayed. In extra stage, if you perform a bomb right before Suiko's spell card times out, she becomes invincible. If you bomb in the next spell card, she will become vulnerable again, but her sprite will be blurry as if she is still invincible. After her passive spells, however, the sprite becomes normal and Suiko becomes vulnerable again. But yeah, Ten Desire's issue is it's like, okay, you want resources, you have to collect certain pieces that drop from predetermined enemies and patterns. Okay, good. Alright, if you want to, you can multiply the effectiveness by using the, 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 the gimmick, trance mode. Alright, cool, how do I do that? Well, you gotta fill the bar by grabbing a bunch of spirits. Alright, now what? Well, now that you fill it, you get 10 seconds of invincibility for two life pieces. Alright, what happens if I get hit? You lose your entire bar. But hey, if you grab life pieces while you're in that, then you're also good to go. I hate this part. Yep. There's too much in that game that is just stupid. I'm not uh, max power. If you bomb right before the timeout of Kaneko's last spell, her portrait might be shown one more time. This one shifted somewhat, and there's a screenshot included. Oh. <laughs> you see it? Shifted. Yeah, her head's that? poking on the bottom of the screen. Oops. Oh, Neil, my... What a beautiful mess this series is. 
This boss is a fucking mess. Nothing beautiful about it. It's true, though. Get rid of me! Yeah, 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 yeah. Go to the next phase. No. We're not done. No, you weren't really hitting him earlier. Something went wrong. This is so stupid. Why are you gonna move at fucking ten thousand miles an hour? When you're well, trying to, like, on. precision dodge, but, like, this fucking boss. It's unbelievably stupid. Oh, you need to do, it, it, like, precision tap dodging. Okay. Like, I try to do that, and Rainbow just fucking flies off the goddamn turtle. It's a goddamn turtle. Why is it moving so fast? Why can I not move slow? Genji's speed. My favorite part is when I do succeed in a light movement, and I fucking snap back and die. My favorite part is when you die, and now the position that gets you killed is different. Yeah, that's a fun one, too. Apparently when you beat UFO on easy, it says go try extra or whatever, but it doesn't actually unlock it. Hmm. Whoops. Go try a better game, more like it. We, we, we could. I just, I wanna, I wanna press bomb and be done with this shit. This boss sucks. It does suck. This boss I'm sucks, the stage see. sucks, this game kinda blows massive chunks. Yeah. Fucking hitbox misalignment. God damn I it. I mean, not like no one, no one cares if we beat this. Like, I care. Like, no, you don't. But I didn't care. I, I wouldn't mean, do it. Then why are you still doing it? You are not having fun. Life ain't all about fun and games. You know me. Don't the, the kind of person who speed runs for the cloud. Well, no, because I don't know how to do speed running. Speed, speed running. Run speed running doesn't seem like a lot of fun to do. If you. If the, you know, people on Twitch or anything to take it for that. No. A lot of speedrunners are very angry. Uh, they got, they, they are swear bears. Speedrunners mm. swear a lot. <clears throat> when you fail your frame perfect, uh, out of bounds clip in a Dude, 60 FPS game. Dude, this game is so game. trash. Twitch. The game is trash. Why won't it let me do the thing that I'm not supposed to do? Garbage, man. OT in a nutshell. What, what's not being uh, shown is the several F bombs that get dropped in between because, like I said, speedrunners do not know how to watch the balance. I like ZFG because he doesn't do that. Yeah, speedrunners that don't do that are great. There we go. There we go. We're currently we're, we're doing the speedrunner thing, chat vehemently shitty on this game for everything it makes me sad about. EVERYTHING! Yeah, you know what makes me sad about everything, Lyft? Everything. Alright, stand right here. Thank you, Horrific, for the sub. Thank you. Uh, it, it feels weird not saying resub. Happens every now and again. I'm basically popular now. <laughs> Alright, goo boys are 100% random, which means I despise them. Mm -hmm, yep, nice goo boy pattern right here. I don't know what these enemies are, but I think I'd like them more if they weren't the worst part of the stage. I don't know, I think the second eye segment is bad. <gasps> the second eye segment is pretty bad. Did you like how I managed to dodge everything of importance there? Yes. What's next? Eyeballs. Damn it! Oh, uh, 
you only just got the yellow. Five lives, no power, no bonds. Gotta beat up the big dumb boss. Here we go. I'm back. Oh ho ho, and a bottle of yo. I think I'd rather not dodge his first attack in favor of hitting him, so I don't have to deal with his third phase in the because I can't dodge it for shit. Yeah. I'd rather deal with the bullet ring. Yeah, I love that I can't fucking see the bullets. Yeah, dude, I can't even fucking tell what you're doing. You don't get real close because you can't fucking see. Phase three. This, I, uh, okay. My dick! Piece of shit, boss! Yo, you crushed the high score. I won. Wow! Does that mean I'm the strongest? You won, my lady. This must be the power of the yin yang laws. No, it's not. Cool! <laughs> Great! <laughs> That's it! That's our reward! Alright, can we move on to four now? I really don't want to do this again. What? It's your turn. No. I don't wanna. What do you I mean? I just did it. I don't want to. Thank you for playing. You are a super player. Great, I'm not. Let's go to four, please. I'll have more fun there. Yeah, thank you. No, you won't. You have I mean, any idea how hard that extra stage is? Is that the one we did? No. no. That's the one we fucking failed at. Well, I mean, that's what I meant. Look, man, if it's got a focus button, I'm all down for it. Are you a super player? Uh. <laughs> you get nothing. Sig. Sigma. Sigma balls! <laughs> Got him! <laughs> Got him. Alright. Alright. Your turn. No. What do you mean, no? I mean, I don't wanna. I don't care if you want to. No, I care. Well, we're not moving on to four because I don't have any information on how to do that. And I'm not throwing myself at that fucking game with no information again. Bruh, I don't wanna sit here for an hour. What do you mean an hour? That's how long I'm gonna be here. Well, then you might as well start winning right now. Oh my god. Give it a shot, Fine. third bag. You know, Chad, all this time I spent practicing, I could just spend doing it. Why don't you just beat it already? I did it. Yeah, now that Dylan's beating it, he can shit talk all he wants. Yeah, that's right. I'm the best. Good. Toho 2 is good and best game. I don't even... Clear! I don't even know what the last thing looked like. I don't I don't even know what the last thing looked like. Uh... <clears throat> Memorizing the stage to get to the boss with six lies and span bombs. Now let's, let's just pretend that the whole... Safe spots don't work every time because if you get hit once, your your hitbox misaligns. We'll just we'll just forget that part entirely. And that one. Yeah, I can bob spam it because I hate this game's movement mechanics. Oh, you're on the wrong one. What the fuck are what you doing? Done? What have I done? Quick clicking shit. Bro, why didn't you change my controls? 
Jesus. There we go. Perfect. Looks like a million things on the controller. I'm trying to find the goddamn pause button. There's no pause button in this game. Well, there is, actually. There you go. Your pause button's weird. Play it like an actual game. We tried before. We tried. The... The safe spot's probably weren't intentional. Are you telling me the shifting hurt box when you die is? That, to me, seems like a bigger oversight than a safe spot. Total Four's extra stage is way harder than the actual main game. Because, well, we beat- we won CC'd that game pretty quickly. And yeah. then we tried the extra stage and it was fucking abysmal. We don't yeah, know how- yeah. we don't know how to do it, and I hate throwing myself at extra like, stages without not, knowing what to do. We're also not as good at the game. Yes, but these games are old and I don't like doing- I don't like throwing myself at these things. If I, I don't have any information to go on. Coward. Like, Koishi wasn't as bad. Because Koishi, I actually did have... I had... Krako had his stuff up for Koishi, so I could use that. But if I tried to throw myself at Koishi completely blind, I would probably just go insane. Because I wouldn't feel like I'm ever figuring out what to do. Or, like, learning. I would just be ad-libbing and barely succeeding. Just to get to a point in Koishi's fight where I don't know what the fuck's going on. And then I just lose anyway. I mean, that's just how... That's basically how our extra stage we're going. That's how trial and error works, yes, but I, at the same time, I don't want to spend an hour doing that because that's not very entertaining and that's not very enjoyable either. Yeah, bomb shields are a thing. I can't imagine why. <laughs> After Evil Eye Sigma got boomed all over the place. What's next? I don't know how he mashed as well as he did to get this. I could not for the life of me get any of it. I'm not gonna try. I get one or two and I'm good. Alright, stars, am I good? Uh, you look good. You should be fine there. Alright, third one. And then back, and then just stay there. Hmm, <clears throat> I never play Toa 1. Probably not, because Toa 1. This is where I use my bomb and just milk them. Yeah, get all the lives. Probably not, because Toho One's gameplay basically boils down to press the. Don't get too close so that happens. That's fine. Press What's the that? you press the bomb button to clear stages, and then you fight the bosses and get really frustrated when the Yin Yang or doesn't to doesn't go where you want it to. So I'm not really uh, I wouldn't say I'm not a fan of Toho One, but I don't I think would. it's a very uh enjoyable experience. Andrew had went and fucking spent like 45 minutes on Kongara. And it wasn't fun. 25 minutes on Kikuri. Meanwhile, I spent like 30 on Sario because <laughs> it's fucking awful. <laughs> like, the game... The game's kind of frustrating because it's hard to control the ball the way you want it to. And again, you just kind of press bomb to deal with the stages because it's optimal, but the, the, the bombs are a pain on the eyes. They flash and go kaboom and they're just awful to look at. I don't really want to bother no, subjecting oh people to that because there's really no story to get them to level one. There's no extra stage or anything like that. Well, that worked out pretty well. Alright, free power. Alright, so... Bottom corner, move up on the sixth one and then down after. That was the fifth one. Of course it was. The sixth one is directly on the bottom. Alright, you should be able to do it. Keyword being should. Well, I did it with one extra bomb, so... You just need to... Remember, when you press bomb, you have a second and a half of extra invincibility, and you want to go directly inside of the thing and press the fire button. But obviously, don't do it until you get to a part where, like, you can't not use it, right? You want, to some extent, be able to do damage on easier phases. And then get inside of it. You've got to go inside it. Hit, hit it with every single shot you have. You have invincibility for a little bit, remember that. Yeah. I'm just scared is all. Now you do this. <sighs> it's streaming until it's not! <laughs> Alright, phase two. Great! Chad, I don't think you understand how close I leaned into the screen to dodge that wave. Uh-oh. Pretty, I 
can't fucking see! A bomba! How can I hold the button for this? I can't, man. My arm is getting tired. But if you don't, if you hold the button, you don't do as much damage. Nothing. It matters. But it does, because now you can't win unless you play like perfect. Well, I guess I'll just play perfect then. Uh huh. <laughs> when did he start doing that? When the fuck was he supposed to do that? I think that's that's phase. That's that's still phase three. Yeah. So why didn't he do that ever? Uh, I beat it out of him basically. <laughs> oh. If you don't mash against him, you don't uh, you don't do enough damage to move the phases along. I'm not mashing through this fucking stage then. Well, I need to rest. Why my are arm. you mashing in the stage? Everything has like one hit anyway. Barely. The only, the only part you should mash for is uh, the the orbs. Everything else you can just hold it. The ghost has like one HP. I mash with the goo boys. That's where I'm. Okay, at. yeah, I do mash with the goo boys. But I don't match super hard because I'm more focused on dodging. I can't do both at the same time very well. Then again, I can't really dodge in this game in general because this game is, uh... Good. <laughs> this game is this game. This game is this game! Ooh. Ooh, what a sick dodge. Maneuver. The absolute, like... Yeah. yeah. The absoluteness of this stage. I like how none of it matters until right at the end. Well, like the midway point where it's like, all right, here's point items, here they come, whoa, get them all, now you have like four lives obtained, whoa, that's amazing. Like, they're not even, there's not even an attempt to split them up. It's just, here you go, here's your refresh point. There's like no fanfare, it's like, whoa, you're doing it, whoa, you did it again, and it's like, yeah, yeah, just give me my things. But you can still die during it. I know. You know what, if I had just, I can't even say if I had just bombed through the, 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 the bullets, because... I hate everything. Chat, let me ask you a question about Andrew Suffers. What's the worst spell card in Toho 6? Toho 6? Uh... In my opinion, Scarlet Shoot. I can't do it. It might be the only spell card on normal mode I've never done once. I don't like misdirection, but I did at least one point. Well, I did yeah, at one point I do it. Misdirection with a passion. Fuck misdirection. Sakuya's last spell? Yeah, I hate that one too, but Scarlet Shoot is one I genuinely cannot do, and I don't know why. I think it's too fast for me. I think pretty much everyone considers Scarlet Shoot, Scarlet Meister to be really, really hard. Scarlet Shoot's just ridiculously cluttered, fast, and not enough downtime between them. How the fuck are you gonna hit her with Marissa when you're constantly weaving in and out of shit? Misdirection lives up to its name, though. The way you do that spell card is you go opposite of Sakuya. But then you have to dodge two waves of, uh, zigzags. Hmm. Is Scarlet Shoot called Scarlet Meister? Is it the same one? Or is it... Was Scarlet Meister another one? Maybe it might be a difficulty thing. That would make sense. Yeah, that would make sense. I don't know any of the improved, uh, spell cards. Apparently Sakuya straight up uses the world. I didn't know that. It's like a, I think it's a hard lunatic spell that she uses. Cause I got it in Rock Maiden 3 and I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> Same one but higher difficulty. Yeah, Scarlet Shoot alone is hard enough. Alright, chat, uh... What about, what about PCB? Uh... I hate that so much. You're too fast for everything but grabbing power. Yeah, you're fine. Right. Does Yuko's knife cooldown count? You should be okay there if you haven't died yet. <laughs> that was risky. I don't even know how I killed him. Uh, cooldowns don't count. Spell cards, specifically. Yeah. Uh, PCV. Crash! Fucking course! Well, it's alright. You get your one up back. Ding ding! And I'll get another one anyway. All of your- I hate you. Oh, you moved again. I fucking forget every time, man. If Yomo's cooldowns would be my pick if we were doing cooldowns, because I fucking hate her cooldowns. You have to do it three times. I can't do it, man. It's hard. If I had to pick my, uh, my least favorite spell card in PCB. I don't have a mom. Oh, I know! 
Kong have a bomb? Um, probably Yomu's second one? Whatever one of Yomu's is the giant clutter of red bullets. That That's one. That's like her second to last one? I hate that one. I just pressed bomb here. Like, I'm just gonna get hit by accident by one of the Bowie boys before they leave. I know it. Well, now is definitely a good time to do it. Like, the, uh... You have to go back and forth, but each time she slashes, she creates more bullet. I hate that one. Because I can't, like... It's weird, because I move in focus, but in slow motion, moving in focus is a terrible idea. Pretty sure Yomu is regarded as a more difficult boss. Ay ay ay! Yomu is regarded as a more difficult boss than uh, Yuko is. Yuko has a lot of very claustrophobic patterns, though. Like her butterfly, the effects of her butterfly bullets make her bullets appear bigger than they are. They are. I hate her first cooldown. I don't think I've ever done Yuko's first cooldown legitimately. She has one cooldown that's painfully easy. Yeah. It's like the last cooldown she has. <laughs> it's like just a couple twisty knives. It's like, oh, that's not that bad compared to everything else you've done. Her first spell card, it scares the shit out of me. But like, I'm decently consistent at it. Well, consistent enough, I suppose. Uh, what about Imperishable Night Chat? I love how streaming until nine. Just react, bro. It's so easy. Boom. <laughs> I fucking hate this. Apollo 13. I don't remember any of uh, Eden's spell cards, honestly, because Eden's not the real final boss. <laughs> Ah, hoo, hoo. I fucking He's Dale. everything about this. Like, where, where is the fun? I personally think racing spell cards are easier than her cooldowns. Where's the fun to be had, chat? If I only don't because know. her cooldowns are basically a gimmick, but her spell, her, her spell cards are a gimmick, but her cooldowns are like, all right, hug the bottom of the screen, and here's bullets coming really fast, and then they slow down real fast. Last words. Last words don't count. Because those are, those are optional. Speaking of last words, chat, Ancient Duper, that's just whack. <laughs> that spell card is absolutely whack to look at, but once you know how to do it, it's like, whoa, that's crazy. Damn, that's crazy. I almost captured it. I almost captured it. That's racing, right? No, that's taste. Oh. I got duped, man. I know how to do it. It's just really hard. Some of them are- some last, uh, last words are atrocious to look at, though. Racing's cooldowns, I don't- like, Racing's one of the easiest H5 bosses in general for me. I- but her cooldowns- her cooldowns used to give me a lot of trouble, but for the most part, as long as you're not, like, as long as you're hugging the bottom of the screen, you're- you're pretty much okay because they'll always slow down. If anything, I think Tay's attacks are harder to deal with than, uh, Racing's. <laughs> Because hers are a lot of very precise uh, zigzag dodging. I can't do that shit. I don't think that's gonna work, son. Nope. I love this stage! It's so fun. I don't even know if I'm good here. Anything with star bullets? I actually agree with you. Star bullets are one of the, one of the, the bullet types I can't figure out. I don't, I don't like fully comprehend them. Talismans too, but I don't have nearly as bad a time with talismans as I do stars. Oh, well, it ain't impossible, but it's gonna be, it's probable. Good. Damn, that was oh. the highest one yet. All right. Now don't move with your pitiable power. Okay, actually, this might be good because now they're kind of dying closer to the center where I can collect it. Yeah, but it would have been better if you had higher power in general. <laughs> yeah. Next is two boys. All right. Hmm. His crisscross bullets are very annoying. Very fitting to her character, though. But yeah, Ancient Duper is literally that. You dodge Ancient Duper by getting right in her face and going left and right before like the bullets even happen. It's crazy. People say that Reimu is a harder boss than Marissa, but I... 
I don't really have much experience dealing with Raymo because I play as Raymo, but I can't deal with Star Bullets very well. Kane's a. Uh, Kane's a. Uh, one of her spell cards. The, the laser one. I don't have as much difficulty in, uh, now that I used to, but holy shit, man. Lasers back. Back in the day for me, lasers. You moved up I, too early again. No, I didn't! That was six! No, it wasn't. That was five. No, it wasn't! Six is the one down here. Bro, I'm counting six. But you're not because you're moving into the fifth one. I hate this. Either way. Remember spell cards in normal are largely gimmicks if you figure them out they're not too bad. Yeah. That's fair. Her duplex barrier ones aren't too bad. Because they're kind of just like stay below the barrier and react. And then the last one is just like you do uh you do like a circle circle ovally movement. But Marissa is just like big hitboxes everywhere. <laughs> pew 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 pew. And now I get to deal with not streaming. Her barrier gimmicks are actually easy. They are surprisingly I wouldn't say they're sense. easy by any means, but I think they're uh, they're not too difficult to figure out. Is it bad that I just want to blame that on my hurtbox being misaligned? Well, you can, but you can't prove it. Marissa's spells are stars and laser vomit. <laughs> it's just rough. That's Marissa's style, though. Don Ma the foundation of all Don Maku's power. Cool. Sinker. Cool, cool. Thank you, Snapback. All right, chat, next game. Toho 10, harder spell card. I is kinda. I've never done that one once. All right, Illusionary Dominance, if you've ever seen that on Lunatic, it's 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 actually RNG Vomit. Which one is that? That's the, the timeout spell, Illusionary oh. Dominance. Virtue of Wing God, Mountain of Faith. People really, people say Mountain of Faith is a very difficult one, but uh, well, we mentioned this before, but Mountain of Faith is con like one of Conoco's most uh, random. I don't know if it's necessarily random, but it's one that it's it's, it's long and it requires movement more than makes pattern sense. knowledge. But well, it makes perfect sense. It's just dodging. Yeah, but it's hard. Not. Uh, but everything else of Conoco's just has a pattern to it. The first spell card looks scary, but if you do it the same way every time, you're never gonna have issues. Everything else she does is very like much more claustrophobic, I think. But the thing is, remember uh, Koichi's first spell card, Ancestors at Your Bedside? That yeah. one has some really scary laser placements, but the safe spot is always the same, and all you really have to do is go... All you have to do is make a reverse J movement every now and again, and then go back remember to a certain position. I remembered? I lied. I have no idea. I don't remember. Well, chat knows. Chat, you remember Koichi's first spell card, right? How that one looks scary, but as long as you're standing in, like, two specific spots, the lasers will never hit you. That's kind of the deal with Konikos. It's scary, but if you know what you're doing, you're okay. But Mountain of Faith is kind of like, you have to do this constant slog of dodging with extra waves getting added for like 30 seconds plus. Definitely longer than 30 seconds. Yeah, the biggest thing about Mountain of Faith is it's long. That's that's exactly it, right? It's it's stressful. I do the whole spell card as Marissa with no lines <laughs> to get a 1cc and I did it. Uh, here's my personal pick. Grey through Maturgy. What is that one? The one with the stars. Sunai's mid-boss spell card. Oh. Because for some reason, I can't process- Oh wow, you had a really good position there. God fucking- Yeah, if only I had gotten out of the way and realized. This, oh. Yeah, that's Sunai prep spell. I seriously struggle with that one because I can't- My brain can't process where the-, the My hitbox was misaligned, wasn't it? No, you just didn't move up far enough. No, 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 it was definitely misaligned. Andrew, you can't just- you, You're like- Can you prove I'm wrong? <laughs> <laughs> he learned he learned about a new excuse and now it's that one. It's like he's playing Wi-Fi over here. Man, hitbox the being hitbox misaligned. misalignment is when your your fucking safe zone doesn't work. It's bullshit. Bro, I moved up the same amount I always would and it didn't work. Maybe you got snapped back, hmm? No, I would have seen that I got snapped back. I would have complained about snap back. Yeah, star bullets, but not actually star bullets. One of Sanaya's spell cards, I didn't do it either. The Parting of the Parting of the Sea. That one looks really cool, but I, I've never done it. Which one is that? That's the one where she makes the waves go like whooshy, and she shoots the red bullets oh, in, yeah, in the middle of them. One. Yeah, the Moses spell card. I don't remember card. what the hell these ones are actually called. Uh, I remember a few of them, but basically I can remember spell card names as long as they don't have anything like specific to Japanese names in them. 
like I mostly remember extra stage ones because they're how many times markers. I've had to fucking do they're them. They're basically progress markers. Yep. Well, I can't I can remember runs, but I can't name them, right? But if you if you show me them, I'll know exactly what one it is. But like. Like, I can name the majority, if not all, of Flandres, because they're all in a language I can perfectly yeah. understand. But then, like, you got, like, I don't remember... I don't remember two or three of Moko's spell cards. Like, the first one, I don't remember the name of it. I think the fourth one's called... or the third one's called Zufu Dimension or something. But yeah, as soon as you put a... as soon as you put a Japanese term or name in it, it's just not coming to mind as easy as the other ones. This is look good. The nice spell is an Alice EX spell from Mr. Square, by the way. Worst spell in SA? Orin. Just Orin. First of all, you're jumping the gun. I didn't get to ask that question yet. That's a ban. Second, yeah, I agree. <laughs> Did you know I've never captured Orin's last spell? I've never captured it. I have always timed it out because I cannot feasibly get under her to do damage. Even... Even Oku spell cards with their massive, their massive nonsense hitboxes. Those those spell cards I have a better time dealing with, and those ones are so incredibly, they make you sweat, and not just because it's a giant sun in your face. Like holy shit, Catswalk is way worse. Is Catswalk the rings? No, that's her mid boss spell card. That's the one where she's a cat and she goes back and forth. No, that one is terrible. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking well, about remember, Hawk and I can play on Lunatic. So, his opinions can differ because some patterns are way worse on higher difficulties. That's true. Remember, I am a normie. A normal player only. I can't do Orin's last spell card. I can dodge it, I can time it out, but I cannot capture it. Passwalk doesn't exist on normal? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. It's, it's the stage 5 mid-boss spell card. It's just, if you, uh, if you time out the cooldown, she won't use it. So you don't actually have to fight it. Andrew did that by accident once. Yeah. He timed out the, uh, the cooldown and she didn't actually do her spell card, she just left. There you go. And, uh, stay down. Stay at the bottom of the screen. As soon cool. as you move up, you just move back down. Oku's son of the only boss that actually have hitboxes matching the sprites. Yep. Zum was like, I need to make these accurate. So, so we did. So, like, that entire thing is a hitbox, which makes it really fucking scary. But at the same time, it also makes it very easy to understand. But I I hate the one where he take, she puts two bullets on the, the, the bottom and top of the screen and forces you into the middle to dodge bright red bullets in the entire bright red screen. I hate that one. Because it's just, like, finessing left and right inputs. <sighs> Heaven and Hell Meltdown. That one's hard. Oh, this is so fucking bad. It's so bad. Sometimes understanding can be more scarier than ignorance. That one's super fun on Lunatic. Shut up. <laughs> you shut your mouth. I'm over here struggling to be normal mode. You get to enjoy Double Black Butter Double Black Dead Butterfly Satori style on uh, Lunatic. So, you know, have fun with that one. I hear that one's pretty fucking bad. <laughs> Alright chat, next one. UFO. And uh, why is Marasa. it the entirety of show's kit? Why didn't my bomb go through? You tried death bomb, didn't you? No, I just tried to bomb. Most valuable Vajra? I fucking hate that spell card. It is trash, dude. Alright, we're on phase four. Right into the drain. Cool, I'm glad I could see that past my sprite. Well, it was exploding. Bomber show shoots curved lasers combined with stars. Uh, that's her first one. That's the one that Nazarin also uses. It's uh, caused by the pagoda. That one sucks dick. But I think the Vajra spell card is terrible too. However, I also think the Vajra spell card has the lowest HP because it seems like you can just press bomb and be done with it. Probably the compensate for the fact that you need to run around her so much to actually like hit her. I mean, Sonai's base, Sonai's exploding bomb basically does it. Yeah, Fantasy Seal ends it immediately too, <laughs> like instantly. I do notice that sometimes Zoom does change the health of spell cards depending on how much you're actually able to hit them. Like, which I'm is good. I'm sure Maze of Love does have the least amount of health of all of Flandre's. Which is cards. good because if it had the same amount of health, it would be impossible to do consistently. But then he just, I guess he just foregone that strategy when he started making those pseudo timeout spells. Chat, 
Toho 11, 12, and 13 all have the 6 or 7 spell card for their extra stage boss as a, oh, I'm going to run into you and shoot bullets at the same time. And there's a 90 second timer that you have to do. So, I couldn't do Koishis, I couldn't do Nue's, and I couldn't do Mamizos. I timed out all three of them. And then they immediately lead into the timeout spell. <laughs> UFO's worst spell card, blue UFO. This guy gets it. <laughs> The blue UFO Bye. is the most useless fucking creation in an entire game. And the worst part is, it's the most common UFO you'll find. Like, oh shit, I shot down a fairy, here comes a blue UFO! And it's not changing! And I'm sitting on two red ones! And I grabbed the blue one! This shit. And I'm I grabbed the blue one. Alright, Andrew has quit. The game is over. It's only been an hour and a half. Well, now what? I'm tired of trying to bomb spam my way to victory. Well, I wasn't. In this horribly incomplete game. It's not incomplete, it came out fine. Are you sure about that? Blue UFOs can create rainbows, it's not useless. Do you know what blue you know what rainbow UFOs do? They create other UFOs to create red and green UFOs. A blue UFO just sounds like a red or green UFO with extra steps. Alright, well Chad, this isn't fun. Alright. Ten desires. I don't have a least favorite one. Miko's cooldowns suck. Cause they're just arrows and then exploding ninja stars. Uh, the one that Yoshika has that you can't time out. Oh yeah, that one sucks. You, have, you can only not time out. Yoshika's spell cards are just ass because you, they, she just keeps eating spirits and you time them out. UFO rainbows transform point items into power and vice versa. That's true, but that barely matters. You know what's funny? You barely get any power back in that game. If you die, you lose one whole stick of power and you get point five back. Yep. Like, why? why. Like, would it kill a boss to drop a big P? Good game. Good game. Good game out of 10. UFO, UFO gets on my nerves. It really does. Whenever I talk about it, I just, my blood pressure increases. There's a point of seven? Feel, that's how I'm gonna feel talking about this game from now on. I remember. Fucked up P balance in UFO. He did more than fuck that up, trust me. UFO, in an interview with Zun, I mean, he didn't state anything specifically, but Zen definitely stated that he, a after the release of UFO was when he realized that he couldn't just release whatever he wanted because uh, because criticism. So UFO UFO is not a wide, a, pot, a very well received game, I don't think. Doesn't sound like it. Zen was like, oh shit, I guess uh, maybe maybe I can't just release whatever I want without. Uh... And you know what? That's great. He learned from it. And he improved on it, but holy shit! And then do he I... made ten desires. Ten desires was easy, but then he, you know, he. I'm some... not even. I'm not a fan of ten desires. Trade it's... off of resources. Yeah, that's the problem with it. It's easy in the sense of bullet patterns, but it, 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 I, Chad, I'd rather do a difficult pattern with five lives than an easy pattern on one life because yeah, the, the amount of stress I feel from having one life is a lot higher than having five. So. Yeah, Ten Desires is, you know, it, they say it's easy, but it just makes me, it just makes me it nauseous. Makes, it gives me one desire to turn off the game. You know what's really cool about that game is that your continues, the, the amount of life pieces you need don't reset when you use a continue. That's, is that cool? That's really stupid. So <laughs> okay, it's like, cool. oh, that's you need eight, you, you need eight life pieces to get a life. But if you, if you, you know, you collect that, you need ten. And then if you game over and you use a continue, you still need ten life pieces to get a life. I can't Good physically get that many. Good fucking luck getting that. <laughs> I don't think you... Are there even ten life pieces in the game? DDD say that you grow... Uh, say, Sage's entire kit is obnoxious because I hate it. And then, uh, and then grow bigger is just impossible because the hitbox is so stupid. <laughs> TD, easy game, then Miko happens. Miko actually is a surprisingly difficult amount of patterns to her. Like, her patterns aren't exactly easy, by any means. But, like, the rest of the game... Futo's final spell card, in my opinion, is one of the easiest spell cards in the entire game. Because you just kind of have to follow the circle around her and don't touch a talisman. Like, it's not... It's definitely just a stress test because you only have, like, three lives. Yeah, it's not difficult, necessarily. And But, like... I think some of the, some of the Sega stuff is more difficult than Futo stuff. Futo stuff at least makes sense. Hell, Tojiko stuff. One of Tojiko's spell cards might be harder than that. And here only one with the curvy arrows because I can't figure them out. Anyway, chat. We're done with Toho too. Thank God. Um. So now we have uh we have we have uh we'll continue this conversation chat into into GTA. But we're 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 done we're done Toho too. Uh, I think. We're going to move on to Toho 4, 
Or we're going to take a break with 14.5. I think I want to do that, though. I think, Chad, I think we're going to play Sumo Records game next week. And then when we finish that, we'll go back and we'll do 4 and 5. Because 4 and 5... I think I think after Toho 2, we need a and we need a little bit of a breather from I need the to video. Remember why I like these games? <laughs> need a little bit of a breather from the video games. But Toho 2 is now done. I did it. I have completed it. So I can die happy knowing that I haven't done it. There we go. So we have to beat uh, we have to beat Alice and Mugetsu and Gengetsu. Four and five should be doable. I hope so, dude. I really do, because it's it's still gonna be difficult. But they're complete games. It's still gonna be difficult, but you know we'll give it our best shot. But next time we're, pro- we're probably gonna start. 14.5 do the stories there take a bit of a breather and then come back to it and then once we're done all the pc 98 extra stages we can come back with toho 6 on a higher difficulty and uh wow that'll be exciting <laughs> will it maybe it could be fun or it will make us want to throw the controller i mean we're better at the game now so you've seen some of those patterns like i said we're better at the oh. game now we'll see stay tuned chat